In this episode, Mariah Carey sits down with Jimmy Fallon at night, Gal King in the morning, and we're getting the Christmas shows on streaming. So don't end up on the naughty list. Tune in now. Hey, welcome back. I'm Martin Burgess. And I'm Dan Enriquez. We have a jam-packed episode for you today. So much has happened <laughs> in the last week. Girl, it's time. It's Mariah's time. season. This is what she's been doing all year. Exactly. Now we're seeing it all. So we have exactly. a jam-packed show. So we are going to get right into it. And we just got to keep going, going, going. I know. I know. Okay. Oh. I think we should like start with the stocking stuffers. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All the, little, all the little trinkets and doodads. <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. What Mariah's been up to this week. Because there's a lot of little things going on. Um, I know. Okay. So where shall we start? Well, I think what looks cute is that Black Irish box set Mm, that's coming out yes yes now this will be like i know like it was released last year and we were like enjoying it during the holiday season but i feel like this is like the first like full season of black irish that we're getting yeah you know and it's like was it only a year ago it was only a year ago gosh right it feels like at least three (laughs) well that's what a (laughs) pandemic will do to you and yeah. daylight savings time. It'll mess you true. all up. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Um, but yeah, Gosh. it was just a year ago. So like now they're like releasing uh, sort of like a gift box. A lot of the liquor brands do this kind of stuff where they like put little yeah. extra gifts with it. So there's like this, uh, if you go to your local liquor store where they sell Black mm-hmm. Irish, you'll find like um, a gift box. It has a cute little mug in it with a butterfly handle. A butterfly wing is a handle. Did you see that? Cute. Yeah, cute. That's, That's cute. a good gift. That's that a good one. gift for your friend who's a lamb who has already has everything because worst case scenario, they just toss the mug or give it to someone else, but you get given the Black Irish. Exactly. And it comes mm-hmm. with a little mini bottle. So you can put it on cute. in your little purse. <laughs> put it in, take it on the go. <laughs> take it to work. <laughs> so, yeah, so a, a, a great little stocking stuffer for for anybody yes. in the in the Lamely family or Lamely adjacent. I love it. I know. Uh, I know. I was telling Dan before the show, these these are the perfect things that you give to your work colleague. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. Yes, exactly. And speaking of Black Irish and things of that nature, have you been watching and following the Black Irish Instagram account? I do follow them, but I don't know if I've been... Why? They be putting up all the drinks. They got like an affogato cocktail. They got like a hot cocoa cocktail. They all look very delicious. So I was like, uh, all right, these are real cute. So their their marketing over there is super cute. Do you speak of their marketing? I have been seeing them like do pop up tasting yes. table session mm-hmm. kind of things. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, hello, where is that? How come we're not getting invited? Do, yes, can I get it? Like, like the gen like the regular, not us particularly, like everybody. Yeah. The lambs. Like, all the come lambs. on, let us know. Let us have at it. So we can show up. Yeah. They're so random with that kind of stuff. I bet it's not even Black Irish that does it. It's probably like the liquor distributor who like uh, puts those types of things up. But I'm like, let somebody know. I want to exactly go. like come on. Let me. They should be doing something Christine. around the around the Madison Square Garden shows when everyone's in town. Ooh, that's yes, that's exactly what they should be doing. Giving out little anybody... samples or like you can buy the gift box set here. At yes, yes, at the concert. Has anyone called him? Girl, can, they, can someone tell call them? them right now and tell them what how yeah. to do their job, like we do to Mariah yes. every week? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell them. <laughs> yeah, I want. I need it on my calendar invite around the Christmas show time. For my Black Irish tasting session. Yes, absolutely. I'm telling you, the Black Irish is where it's at. It's super good. Super good. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. In other little stocking stuffer news, we also, we've been mentioning it before, um, the Walmart um, um, little trinkets and doodads. What are they called? Box set, I guess. Box, uh, Gift like, box set. Yeah, like bath and body um, sort of treats. They are. Exactly. They're out there in Walmart now, like officially. Officially. Because, okay, so when I first saw the first photo or photos of it, it was sort of. You know, on an angle, I didn't get didn't get a good look. But now that I'm seeing what's in them, actually, like actually in them, I'm like, oh, this actually looks really cute. Yes, yes. And Mariah was talking about them uh, at the, the todayshow.com. She did like a little interview about the new little products, and apparently, there's one called Cashmere of some sort. 
Yes. And she says that's her favorite. So I'm going to take um, her advice. And when I go to Walmart, that's what I'm picking up. Because mm-hmm. just like with Black Irish, Mariah said her favorite is the salted caramel. And lo and behold, it's mine too. Who would have thought? Yes. <laughs> but you know what? So I actually like went on a adventure this past weekend. And the whole story is over on Patreon if you want to hear that story. But uh, so I was in some people's houses, some relatives' houses. Some people. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> some relatives' houses. They had the Christmassy hand soaps and candles. Like they, people do that. Oh, it very much at Christmas. is. It very much is. You know. So you want to get be getting the Mariah Carey version and flip your bathroom, yeah, to make it festive. They got hand creams. They got bath bombs. They got candles. Yes. yes all yes. that kind of good stuff. I need. A, I, I need was, a new candle. You need to have a good foam soap, hand soap in your bathroom, mm-hmm. and a good candle. Mm-hmm. Just to the you. Know, Decorated yes, up. Yes, yes. In a beautiful Christmas scent. Yes. So we love that. I love it. I'm down. I'm down. I want to get some. I'm going to Walmart one of these days. I'm going to go to Walmart and get that. I really am. Uh-huh. Um, and again, perfect gift for the office colleague to give to that friend, to the neighbor. Anyone on get a whole that. bunch. Anyone in that Yes. One. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and in other merchandise news... <laughs> Um, there's a lot of merch going on here. Mariah's really making us come out of our pockets. Christmas time. Um, we did mention, I believe, last week that there's new Christmas merchandise, like, uh, you know, uh, onesies and stuff like that. There's also yes. the Fall in Love at Christmas vinyl. Uh-huh. But Urban Outfitters, who Mariah has been doing a lot of vinyl releases with, is doing on November 11th this weekend, um, online only, I believe a release of the Heartbreaker single on vinyl, Hot Pink. In pink. It looks cute. It is. It does look cute, and I love that. Um, yeah. I love that cover, so I think I need it. Uh-huh. As long as it it's reasonably, reasonably priced. Yeah. Do we know the price yet? No, I don't know. I'm sure you can find it online already, but um, yeah, we'll find out. It comes, but yeah, it more vinyl. It's out now. or it's out, I think it's one day only. Oh, really? I think. Gosh. I don't know. I hope it doesn't sell out. Because, girl, we've been having too many sellout moments recently. <laughs> I just can't handle them anymore. <laughs> I know. Did we ever get get to the bottom of the butterfly box? Oh, that's it. That's all we're getting. No more. We're done. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. The whole butterfly 25 is done. Unfortunately. I know. But it was good while it lasted, honey. That was good. See you at butterfly 26. Exactly. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but let's um, let's uh, put a pin in it because when those merchandise boxes go out, like the butterfly vinyl boxes, like I cannot wait to see what they look like inside. I'm sure the lambs mm-hmm. are going to be posting all the pictures and everything, of mm-hmm. booklets and all that kind of stuff. So that will be coming out, I think, in March. Mm-hmm. So we'll definitely keep an eye out on those. Yes, for sure, be, for sure. Mm, delicious. I know. Um, well, speaking of anniversary situations, so people did notice on YouTube that a couple of the memoirs videos are getting re-uploaded in HD, oh. possibly 4K or HD with TB- TBD, which version? They'll probably start with the HD and go to the 4K. Uh huh. You know, one step at a time. Right. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But then that sparked rumors: Is MC Thirty back? Are we getting into the memoirs era with MC Thirty because mm-hmm. it did get neglected? Yes, it did. Yes, it did. MC Thirty did disappear. That's when it all stopped, right? Basically, yeah. Maybe. Maybe we're getting something. We'll see. Mm-hmm. You know, I was I was telling you last week that I was watching the roof in um 4K. And it's glorious. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, here's the thing, though. I was watching it in 4K, but like Mariah, and then Mariah did a post on it on her socials about it being in 4K. I was like, girl, that was like a week ago. <laughs> that, that's been out, girl. <laughs> you're just now letting the, the, the folks know? Girl, you're late. <laughs> Maybe you got to check it <laughs> to make sure it works. Yeah, I mean, it works. It works because I definitely could tell um, a difference. So. But anyways, it's out and it's good and it's fabulous and I love it. And I've watched it like 10 times. See, right now I'm on the road technically, so I don't have my good TV. I just have my mm. laptop, so it doesn't make a difference make what a difference. kind of K it's right. in. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you could be at zero K, honey. It's still the same. Yeah. It's exactly. It's still the same. Um, but other in other little um, 4K type news is uh, all I want for Christmas is you is in Dolby Atmos now. Not the, oh, not the, really? not the um, album, but just the song from the original Merry Christmas. Just so, yeah. the song. Just the song. Interesting. Just the song. Now, of course, I've listened to it um, in the Dolby Atmos. And I think it's good. I think I'm getting the understanding of what Dolby Atmos really does. I think the I more... Did a re- I, I did an investigation. The more that I'm listening to it, I, I'm like, okay, I see. It really just like, it adds like a, 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 an airiness to it. Not an airiness. That's maybe the wrong way. But I can I can hear the layers of things much more clearer. Like... You mm. know, there's there's sound there. But there's what it's supposed to do... something. Well, let's, like, think back. Do you remember, like, early 2000s, it became all the rage to have um, in your house the Dolby surround sound system for your television? Mm-hmm. And you would mm. have the subwoofer and then the speakers at the back of the room, near the TV, the big things, and it was yes. supposed to create this, like, cinema-like sound quality in your house reference like think imagining that so what it, they're doing with these dolby uploads of what do you call it dolby atmos? atmos yeah you're supposed to have more than one speaker to really experience it so i think ideally what you want is to be in a four speaker situation and it's supposed to create like a surround sound experience around you oh like a 3d experience uh-huh like well, it, apparently it doesn't work on a single speaker like you need to have more than one speaker and then if you have more than two speakers, you're getting the full experience of it. Okay. Well, I'm just using my Bose. Like when you go to apple.com and you look at like mm. their Dolby Atmos page, mm-hmm. it tells you what you can listen to it on. And so mm-hmm. my headphones, I can listen to it on. And I do hear a difference, but I bet now that you're saying that, if I had like one of those surround sound systems, I'd be hearing mm-hmm. it even better than when I hear it in my headphones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Well, we love that, and it's fabulous, and it just right. makes things a little crisper and more clear in a lot of ways. Like, you can hear the background vocals. You can hear, like, each... It, it's almost like each track is very... It stands out. Nothing is mm-hmm. muffled or muddled. Mm-hmm. Very sort of crisp, and you can hear Well, I think that's a... But that might be a good question for the listeners. Like, has anybody listened to it with more than two speakers? Yeah. How do y'all listen to your dull? What does it sound like? Let us know. Exactly. Exactly. You know, have another thing. But speaking of Christmas, now it um, has been, I guess, maybe like a full week or so since the Christmas Princess has been out. Mm -hmm. And the Christmas Princess, of course, number one over there on the uh, children's books on Amazon.com. Yay. Yes. It was originally like... um, at number one on some other list, but now it's like the overall children's book. Okay. Oh, everybody's been buying. I want to get mine. I'm going to get mine. I want to get it in real life yeah. at the shop. Uh, yeah, that's why I don't want to order it online. I want to get it like in person and stuff. But you know, mm-hmm. I'll get it when I go out to Walmart and I'll find a bookstore on my, get you on my trip. <laughs> and candles. Uh huh. Yes. Um, and all my Mariah stuff at once. Do we know if it's on the New York Times yet? How long do we have to wait for that? A week? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Or Sunday? Does it come out on Sunday, I, the New York Times? I think so. I think so. Book? I think it is. Yes. Keep an eye out for that yes. list. We'll keep an eye. We'll keep everyone up to date and make sure we're not missing anything. Because it's also a bestseller on the Barnes & Noble website as well. Okay. So that's, that's good. good. That's good to know. Yes. All kinds of number yes. ones here. You know, Mariah's very used to them. Uh, sticking with the Christmas theme, so Mariah Carey Australia on their Twitter page posted a quote from Dolly Parton. Oh, yes. Uh, saying, Dolly said, now, oh, I think like the interviewer asked Dolly um, if she's the queen of Christmas. Because uh, you know, Dolly's also very festive, very in the same lane as Mariah. Loves the very butterfly motif. So now, if you're of someone of like maybe our age, it, mm-hmm. here in America, Dolly Parton every year would have a Christmas special on television, mm. like back in the '80s. 
Mm-hmm. It would always be like Dolly and her family, and you'd meet like all her sisters and brothers. She has like five thousand of them, and they'd sing mm-hmm. Christmas carols and stuff. So she was very Christmassy always. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so Dolly said, uh, an interviewer asked her if she was the Queen of Christmas. You know, it's the hot topic right now. Who is the Queen of Christmas? Yes. And so Dolly <laughs> replied saying, now don't say that. I'm not going to compete with Mariah. I love her. You think of Christmas, you think of Mariah Carey. Happy to be second in line to her. Yes. That was the quote. Yes. Um, and then Mariah replied to Dolly or, or tweeted a response saying, Dolly, let's settle this one. Because, you know, last time it turned into a feud. <laughs> a debacle. <laughs> yes. Uh, Dolly, let's settle this one. You are the queen of everything, the queen of the world, the queen of Christmas, the queen of mine. Love you. Heart emojis. Oh, my God. I love that. I'm down for a Mariah Dolly collab. Oh, my God. It would be amazing. Even a songwriting collab because they're both good with the pen. Very good. Very good. Mm -hmm. And Dolly Mm -hmm. was just inducted into the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah, she was. So shout out to her. All the the love to Dolly. Like, come on. Dolly. Dolly's good. Yes, we love know, Dolly. And Dolly, Dolly loves Mariah because she also has Mariah's um, um, perfumes on her, like, in, at the Dollywood. Like, you can go see, like, her trailer or her tour bus. And she, oh, yeah. All, she's all the butterflies and everything. She's all that kind of good stuff. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, what was I going to say about Dolly? No, we love Dolly. Dolly's great. <laughs> Enough yeah. said. Enough said. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> say less. Say less. It's not like Dolly's not going to come out here swinging like Darlene Love mm-hmm. or Martha Stewart. <laughs> exactly. I know. I know. Dolly oh Parton my God. She knows and she's civilized. She's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. Oh, which by the way, so with the Martha Stewart feud <laughs> from last week, apparently Snoop chimed in saying, like, oh, what's the address <laughs> Just for Thanksgiving? Because <laughs> yes. he'll, bring, he'll bring the wine or something. Oh yeah, oh, they have the, things. That's who Mariah should be talking to because Snoop and Martha have that wine collection. Yes, out. you see them that's in the Trader Joe's place, everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I've been begging Mariah to be doing. That's what I'd be buying on the weekly. Yes, yes. Well, so she should go to Martha's house. You know, maybe they can collab. Maybe they can and introduce, talk business. Yes, introduce to some business prospects there. Um, I know. But anyways, um, you know, it's always a moment for a good self-plug here. So if you are not supporting the Mariah Report, you can always go to patreon.com slash the Mariah Report and sign up to um, be a supporter of the show. Yeah, it makes a huge difference. It really helps us out. And if you want to support the show for free, you can do that by hitting subscribe on your podcast app or follow on the podcast app on Apple Podcast or your Spotify app. And then while you're there as well, hit the five stars and you can do it more than once. So if you've you've done it one time, go back right now. Just go check it out while you're listening to this. Do it. Hit it again. Boom. Boom. And you know what? I'm guilty of not following the Mariah Report because it was popping up on my, it was like comes up on my Spotify. (laughs) I know. And then I clicked on it and I was like, oh shoot, I'm not following it. So just go double check. Make sure you're following it. Yes. Please. That really helps the show grow. Makes the helps us a lot on this end. Exactly. Um, so thank you for that. Yeah. And then you can also find links in the description, episode descriptions, um, etc. cetera. Um, okay. So I have a story to tell. Okay. So, you know, I, um, I was away for the weekend. That whole story is on Patreon. If you want to hear that story, the whole, uh, whole ancestry.com oh, re- family God. reunion happened. All of it. Um, and so I got back. I'm like, you know, I'm out of my routine, so I'm falling behind with some stuff, and so I'm catching up on work. Got to the gym late uh, on, like, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Um, I go work out. I'm walking home. I walk past Lincoln Center. I see this all kinds of commotion. I see lights, camera, action, people in suits, red carpets. Oh. Uh-huh. Mayhem. Some sort of Christmas movie is getting released. And I'm like, oh, that's cute, whatever. Keep going home, minding my own business. The next day, Uh, Mariah Carey is at Lincoln Center at the movie premiere for Spirited. Get out of here. She was right there. No, I didn't. I I just walked right by her. (laughs) No. I know. Oh, my God. I would have been so devastated. 
I just had no idea. No, I don't think anybody had any idea. No. No, this is why see when Mariah's <laughs> in New York, she's always popping out. I know, I know. I did. And we're not yes. prepared for moments like these. <laughs> I know. She was right there. Literally walked by. Oh my God. Uh, I mean, uh, there was no way you would have known. None of us knew. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry. That is, that's devastating. <laughs> I know. I'm serious. I'm yeah. serious. I'm heartbroken. <laughs> Imagine, I wonder what I, what I have done if I walked by and it was like the red carpet moment where she's on the red carpet. I would have been like, died. what's happening? Would have died. It would have died. Like, that's so crazy. I would have tried to sneak in with my gym clothes on. Oh, they would have let you. Sure, of course. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so she was here in New York, out and about again in the streets. Again, I'm telling you that New York Mariah is the best. Fabulous. We love it. The Atlanta house, just burn it down. Get the yeah, insurance we'll take money. Take everything out first. Make sure the Butterfly Lounge is fully, <laughs> um, you know. <laughs> Preserved. <laughs> um, okay, so she's that spirited. What is spirited? I don't know. Some Christmas movie coming out soon on Apple right. TV. The only thing I can tell you that I know is that, but, but then when I find out who's in it, I understand why Mariah was there. Um, mm -hmm. It's just not an Apple TV movie, but um, Will Ferrell, Octavia uh -huh. Spencer, and big names and who else um, uh that's what i caught I'm who's the thinking. guy who's the guy who plays elf in elf one of mariah's favorite movies will ferrell oh that's will ferrell yeah oh okay then there's some other guy <laughs> <laughs> well, tells the... you what i know i don't know anything but there's another guy that we know who's famous who's also in the movie and i was like oh no wonder mariah went to see that movie she likes oh. them um well, I think the guy who wrote it, so the guy who wrote it posted a video, I don't know his name, uh, posted a video with him and Mariah and Octavia Spencer. Did you see that video? Okay, okay, yes, I did see that video. Okay. And then he's trying to tell the story about how he was in sixth grade <laughs> and wrote, wrote a paper about Mariah's music and Mariah kept interrupting him she and cutting like, him off. It. I don't want to yes. hear it. It was a funny little video, actually. Um, but apparently he wrote like La La Land and... A bunch of other stuff. Yes. And now let's get into <laughs> that. Forgetting. Let's get into who that guy is. So yeah. I know who that guy is um, because a, a friend of mine knew him in New York, but I don't know him. Like I never met him. I just know of him. But uh. we all know him. He didn't write the movie. He wrote the music to the movie. He also wrote the music for La La Land. He wrote the music for The Greatest Showman, which – oh is oh, the song no. that beat Mariah Trauma. for the Golden Globe. So that's start. why Mariah wasn't having none of his little sixth grade story. She's like, bitch, you stole my uh -huh. Golden Globe. Get out of my face. This is true. This is So he's the one who writes all the music. He's like one okay. of the writers. And he wins all the Oscars, all the uh, Golden Globes, all the everything. But he's the one who beat her for the Golden Globe when the star came out. Okay, now we don't like him. No, we don't. I'm sure he's a lovely man. <laughs> <laughs> but how dare he? But how dare he? How dare he? Um, but he's, he has always been a Mariah fan. Um, so, you know, he is a lamb. And all these writing skills that he has that are winning him all these awards, he mm -hmm. probably owes to Mariah Carey because he's been listening to her music his whole life. So there mm -hmm, you have exactly. it. Exactly. So without I Mariah, there have... would be no Ben or whatever his name is. And uh -huh. he wouldn't have been writing any of these songs. So again, it all boils down to Mariah inspiring everyone. Exactly. And then losing to her, losing out yes. on her Golden Globe. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was interesting to see that interaction. There were a couple of interesting photos as well. Like there's one photo of Mariah and that guy. I think his name is Ben. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I won't try it. Um, where she like looks like really surprised to see him and like, mm -hmm. telling her a story and stuff. So like they had other encounters during that night, which is great and fine. I'm sure they're friends and whatnot. But also another interesting encounter from that night, I think afterwards, was Mariah at dinner with Brian. Mm -hmm. And she's taking pictures with Lil Dark. Mm -hmm. Now... I don't know what Lil Durk is, who Lil Durk is, what Lil Durk be doing. 
But mm-hmm. everybody online, especially, you know, the Twitter, everybody's like, oh, my God, oh, my God, like a collab between those two. I can't believe they were having dinner together, blah, 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 mm-hmm. this and that. And I'm like, girl, look at that photo. That photo, mm-hmm. they're, they're not having dinner together. There's no place setting for that man. He sat down to take a photo with Mariah. They did not have dinner together. That man's mm. half hanging off the side of the banquette, okay? They're not uh-huh. they're not having dinner together. That was Mariah and Brian having dinner together. Um, well, he has a he has a big song out right now called uh, Laugh Now, Cry Later with Drake. Apparently. That's the big one. Apparently, mm-hmm. because you know, I uh, I work with a lot of young folks sometimes, and one day I walked into the work and they were playing this music and I was like, Oh, who was this? And the girl was like, Oh, this little dirt. And I thought she said little dirt. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm walking around all day long. Like who the hell is little dirt? <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> and nobody knows who little dirt is, but it, oh, I, no. then I kept saying it to her and she's like, why you keep calling him little dirt? And I was like, bro, you <laughs> told me that's what his name is. And she's oh, no. like, no, little Dirk. Dirk, D-U-R-K. And I was like, girl, Dirk, Dirk, whatever. It all sounds the same. Oh, no. That's how I learned who little Dirk is. Gotcha. That's all I know. <laughs> He's got pops. They're on the streaming. Check it out. Um, somebody. But again, it caused the, the collab rumor. As, as usual. As usual. But I'm... I got no feelings no, about it. Not interested. <laughs> Ooh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Um, what I am interested in, though, is um, the crown. That was cute. That, that whole moment. First of all, now they're, I've watched like season one of the crown and stuff like that. And um, I just watched this fabulous documentary on HBO about Princess Diana. Oh, I love a Princess Diana documentary. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Mm hmm. Um, but now I'm real excited to like watch the crown. I know Mariah loves the crown, but now they're getting into like the dirty, the nitty gritty of the Charles and Diana uh, saga of it all. So I'm like, and that was going down in the nineties. Yes. Oh, all it, Mm -hmm. Oh, it was scandalous. Mm -hmm. You had Mariah over here. Number ones, number ones, number ones. But then all the other news was Diana and Charles, Diana and Charles. It was Mariah, Diana, Charles, Mariah, Mm -hmm. Diana, Charles. Uh, (laughs) It was everything. <laughs> and now it's basically a documentary of yeah. <laughs> okay, well, here I was more fascinated with the whole like yay for Mariah getting her song in the crown because we know that she's a big fan of it. She's had she would get the promo boxes from Netflix yes. and do videos, and of course, I'm, uh, and I'm we, sure they paid her a pretty little penny, and she had to like check the box and say yes, you can use my song. Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. Um, I was more interested in what the room looks like now, the movie room. Exactly. The furniture is all gone. Exactly. Or I think they may, maybe they just like rearranged it for this particular moment. Who knows? But I don't remember know. Remember like she did mention she was renovating the New York apartment. So in my mind, they just sort of like cleaned it out a little bit. Yeah, but it, that's the same couch or same, same couch. part of the couch. I think that's like a big old sectional. So like you can move things around. So maybe true, they just reorganized true. it. Because also that popcorn machine that's in the photo is now by the front door when it used to be in the little kitchen. Ah. You know, so, oh, girl, I was looking too. I was like, I don't care what Mariah's (laughs) watching. I'm looking. I know. I was looking around. The side table. (laughs) Now, was the side table new? Is that new furniture? I don't, I don't, mm, I don't think so. Because I feel like. I thought it looked new to me. I feel like maybe we've seen it somewhere else. And is the fish tank gone? Right. I'm like, where I think I'm like, did they put a it, okay? Because that's what I was thinking. First of all, can we explain to the people <laughs> what exactly is going on here? <laughs> okay, so Mariah's watching the crown. She makes this a, she's like, Oh, I'm so excited, my song is in the crown. But then she posts these Instagram social media photos and a little video of her lounging on the couch with the side yes. table, sipping tea while wearing a beautiful crown. Because mm-hmm. she is the crown. Luxuriating. Queen. Luxuriating. Yes. That's how she luxuriates every night. Mm-hmm. Oh, she's doing, this is her in her natural environment. Watching TV. Now, But now, if you know, if you are a longtime lamb or hardcore lamb that have seen the Cribs episode, 
Mariah has the big screen over here on one side, and that mm -hmm. playing the crown. Mm -hmm. And then she has a screen over here on the wall. So she got two screens already. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. So the, the little screen is like a regular TV. But from my uh, understanding of the layout of Mariah Carey's New York City penthouse apartment, um, which, in Tribeca, you know, in Tribeca, which I have thoroughly studied. Yes. That is where the fish, fish tank was. Uh huh. So now there's a TV there. You know, the fish tanks are high maintenance, especially a big one. Yes, with tropical fish. Uh, too much work. All and she was never there. Yeah, and she's never there. So you think they removed the fish tank and put a TV there? Or do you think the fish tank is still there? It's just over to the side and we can't see it in this, these photos. Oh, good question. I mean, it could, uh, I don't know. Did it get removed in the renovation? Well, all I know is those fish that she had 20 years ago are no longer with us. <laughs> For sure. <yes. laughs> I don't think fish, tropical fish live that long. <laughs> exactly. But also maybe um, it's just emptied and they pull down the screen to cover it up. But if you look, like that's not a pull down screen. It's a television. No, the, the big the screen. The pull down screen has always been at the front. Oh, are you saying where the television is was where the fish tank was? Yes. Oh, then they took that shit out. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That's all I needed to know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, the screen in the front is the pull-down projector. Uh -huh. And the screen over to the side, that's a television screen. Yeah, we don't need a fish tank. We don't else. need a fish. Who needs a fish tank, honey? That's too much. Yeah. I mean, it's gorgeous. It's cute. We love it, but... They were trendy back then. Yeah, they sort of were. Mm -hmm. I dated this guy once with a, a fish tank, a tropical fish tank like that. It was very high maintenance. Oh, when I worked at the CD store, it was called Fish Records. That was the name of the CD store. And they installed this enormous fish tank. Way too much maintenance. I you had to, like, you were, I, wipe the glass. <laughs> oh, God. Feed the fish. Oh, all of that. A man had to come, actually, and maintain it. Oh, yes. Th those need, like, regular maintenance. I thought yeah. you were going to say that people came there to buy fish, thinking it was a fish <laughs> store. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, well. But we had a tank. At least they weren't Tanks were that. in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> tanks were in back tanks in the day. Were in. We love it. Um, but yeah, that was a little crown moment and a little peek inside Mariah's uh, mermaid room. So we loved it. It's very cute. Oh, um, the, is that what it was called? The mermaid room? Yeah. With the fish tank. Yeah, okay, yeah. makes sense. You know, all underwater themed. That's right. Blues, blah, blah, blah. Well, I like the color palette that was going on. The, the creams and beiges, the yes. neutral tones yeah. and the gold accents. Super cute. I love it. I, I want to go hang out there. And mm -hmm. then we'll go to the Moroccan room at night. Mm-hmm. Okay. The lounge over there. Okay. Now we got to get down to Mariah on the television screen. She's been all over the television screen, and I love it this week. I know. So she was on Jimmy Fallon. She made an appearance. She did an interview, a sit-down interview. The first one since, uh, what's the other Jimmy called? What's his name? Kim. James. James Corden. Oh, James Corden. How, yes. Why they all got the same name? It's just how you get the job. You put you gotta be white called Jimmy room. or James, all and you gotta be it. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you gotta be a certain skin tone with yeah. the name James or Jimmy, <laughs> and you got okay. the job. Well, now I, I never thought of that, but now I'm like, okay, two of y'all gotta go. All of them gotta go. Okay, well, but I like Mariah and Jimmy. Now. Jimmy Fallon, yeah, because they sing sometimes. Mm, they've had cute moments, but I find all of them boring as hell. Well, duh. No one, we know that. But if you had to <laughs> pick one to stay. Oh, pick one to stay? Jimmy. Oh, God, that's tough. tough. I guess Jimmy no, Fallon, Jimmy sure. Fallon, because she did the good moments with Jimmy Fallon. She did the Christmas. She did. All right. All he wins. Christmas and the Art of Letting Go moments. He wins. He wins. Okay. He wins. Okay. And then they, now, they, and this time they did a, a, a bedtime. I don't know what they were doing in bed. It was a bunk bed. A bunk bed. Kids. A bunk bed skit. Kid themed. Yeah. Well, you know, for the Christmas book. Um, where should we start talking about Jimmy Fallon? Because I immediately want to go to the fashions. Well, uh, okay. What we didn't talk about this whole episode were all the fashions. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> There's a lot of fashion this week. And yes. I'm loving all of it. 
Everything's all good. It. All of it. The pants at the Spirited Permian. Oh my God, yes. Oh my God, with like a see-through top. And the leather jacket. Oh my God. Jacket. Gorgeous. That was a good look. She was also out spotted on the street, I think going to Jimmy Fallon um, in like a little like mini dress short ensemble or something with mm-hmm. Brian, who was wearing a Butterfly 25 t-shirt. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Must have been laundry day. He had, to, uh, he had to get the merch. No, he... <laughs> He don't need to wear a shirt, okay? Um, <laughs> so she was looking fabulous there. She was looking mm-hmm. fabulous um, uh, at the Spirited. She was looking fabulous on Jimmy Fallon, okay? Hold, mm-hmm. Now, hold on a minute. Let's talk about this mm-hmm. dress. That dress was gorgeous. That was a good dress. It was all kind of this, that, and the other. And good cut out. Good cut out moments, yes. Uh, it was a McQueen dress. Oh, is that what it was? Yes, Alexander McQueen. Rich, Interesting. Very rich. Yes. Gorgeous. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And that's the other thing. I think also, because she's giving me a lot, this whole, all these looks, she's bringing me back to American Idol days. It is definitely that. Because she was wearing a lot of Alexander McQueen for American Idol, and here she is wearing some more. And I was like, this dress on Jimmy Fallon is one of her best fashion moments in the past few years. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say it because it's gorgeous. Well, remember the Jimmy, oh, what's his name? It's not Jimmy. James. James Corden interview. Mm-hmm. Not a great dress. Oh, because you remember it's like she was in that Dolce & Gabbana phase and they weren't so great. Yeah, I mean, like sometimes like it's cute sometimes, but like the, the, um, the, the fashion moment in Europe, that was yeah, a great that look. That was a great look. But the, the, Jimmy, the James Corden looks not so great. Not so great. But now we're in the great era. We're in the great era. We are in right the great era. And I th- whatever's happening right now needs to s- everyone stick to their jobs. Yes, do whatever you're doing. And I think that is some of the big breaking news that we need to report immediately is that uh-huh. she, her her styling team has slightly changed. Changed or gone back to the original? Well, gone back. Well, what's well, first of all, to me, the original is like, you know, Billy B. And I don't know who was doing her hair, but like that's like early 90s Mariah. But then like the long time team, like through the late 90s, early 2000s, were like Christopher Buckle and mm-hmm. Roque with the hair. Mm-hmm. But then like early like 2010, 11, 12, 13 ish, those types of things, we've gone back to those moments mm-hmm. with that. The American and, Idol days. The American Idol days. Yes, yes. So. Here we have it. We have Christopher Buckle on makeup. Yes. Gorgeous as always. We have, um, uh, who is on here? Danielle Priano. Danielle Priano is on hair right now. Is back. Now, if you recall, we haven't seen Danielle Priano since Mariah's World dates. Yes. Slash a not great era that we <laughs> try to forget. Very questionable moments. Uh-huh. But we've moved on. We moved on. And here Danielle is But back. she moved on too. Yes. Oh, she's been out there working. She's been doing the thing. She's been slaying all the hair for all the right. all the girls. But um, now she's back. Now she is back. And the hair's been looking phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Phenomenal. All around. Love it. Mm-hmm. Cute, mm-hmm. natural, wavy. Love it. Right. Um, and you know, Danielle also did the good hair that we like, the hashtag beautiful era hair. Mm-hmm. You know, the good beachy wave. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. She did a lot of good hair. A lot of good hair. Mm-hmm. And then now we have a new stylist. Well, we've gone back to our pr- previous stylist from back in the day, Wilfredo mm. Rosardo. Mm-hmm. Now he's also mm-hmm. a jewelry designer, so he's all over there in the jewelry industry. Mm-hmm. Well, that's why Mariah's been got all the all the gold, all the diamonds, all the baubles, all the jewels. They're right. looking phenomenal. Interesting pieces. Interesting pieces. Like yes. in Jimmy Fallon, when she's on um, the bed, the little bunk bed, and she's in the red robe, she has those beautiful emerald earrings. Mm-hmm. Stunning. Gorgeous. Love mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. Everything. So he's doing mm-hmm. the clothes and the jewelry. Danielle's on hair. Christopher Buckle is on makeup. <sighs> no more work. The dream team. The dream team is back. Done. Phenomenal. Again, sign everybody up. We're sealing the deal. Boom, boom, boom. We're getting... Okay, see, here's the thing. Like, when she's got this team assembled and doing this much stuff 
this is when something is coming. Yes. Well, we're in. We're in the coming. This we're in. Coming. We're in it. It's coming. <laughs> it, it's coming. Okay. It. Uh, okay. So the sit down interview was cute. But what, Jimmy. I, what I'm also going to say very quick, oh. I'm, I'm very excited to see what they're going to do for the Christmas shows. But we'll talk. About oh that yes. Because the you know the ensembles got to be there, and I think they're going to exactly. Be there. But we'll talk about that in a little minute. In a minute. So Jimmy in Fallon. Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon. Okay. Great fun interview. Different than the Jim, again, the, different than the James Corden interview that we had a couple last year. Whole new vibe. Mariah seemed like she was in great spirits, talkative, fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, she was there to promote the book, obviously. So we sort of heard these stories before about the book, um, and she gave us like a, a dramatic reading of the book. Oh my god, it was so good. It was. So, I know. And this is why I want to read the book because it's so well written. When you get Mariah mm -hmm. and Michaela Angela Davis together. They're going to tell you a story, girl. And uh -huh. it's good. Um, but but it also seems like it has more rhyming to it. So it's more of a kid's book. Yes. There is more creativity involved. Yes, absolutely. But, you know, I once again was a little clutching my pearls when Mariah was manhandling that child's book. Girl, she, Why? Was, she was flipping it and turning oh. it. And the pages were all getting bent and fingerprints <laughs> everywhere. And she's like bending it backwards. And I was like, girl, please, please be careful with that. <laughs> it's like I just can't handle when Mariah manhandles her own merchandise. Because she doesn't she, care. No, she don't care. She has a thousand of those books just laying around collecting dust in the closet. Whereas mm -hmm. to me, I'm like everything Mariah, like, I don't even let people touch it unless I have a second copy. <laughs> oh, this is the copy there. You could touch this. You can flip through this. It's like, no, don't put your hands on that. <laughs> so it just gives me high anxiety when Mariah manhandles and flips and twists and bends and breaks her own merchandise. It drives me nuts. <laughs> But so we got that did happen, and Mariah gave us a, a fabulous dramatic reading. So I loved that moment of the Jimmy Fallon. I know, super fun. Uh, so make sure you check it out on YouTube if you haven't done so yet. It's yeah. worth watching. Um, she looked again, looked great, looked comfortable with Jimmy. So yeah, that's yes. good. Little shout out to Rock and Roll on there too. Oh, we yeah. got to see them. Oh yes, yes. Um, and so she was on Jimmy Fallon at night. And yes. then just this week, she was up during the early morning hours over there with our Gail King. On my favorite morning show, CBS. Now, I'm disappointed. Be oh, can we talk about the whole CBS moment, actually? Okay, yes. Okay, because I was watching it in real time because that's my show. Yes, that's your regular go-to. My regular morning show. I wake up in the morning, put, that's the first thing I put on. Catch the news, see what's going on. My Nate wasn't on today. Oh, no. I know. I want to make election voting coverage or something. Oh, they said he was doing something on the road. I was like, oh, man. That's... I was, wanted everybody who knows that I promote the show <laughs> to go experience the Nate and Gail experience. Because they're also really funny together, Nate and Gail. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, oh, damn it. Um, anyway. Fair. But we got a good interview at Mariah's house with Gail. Mm -hmm. Again, talking about the Christmas book and how Mariah growing up and her experiences. Um, again, super fun, super cute interview. I love it. And again, I'm looking in the background. I'm like, so we're back in the house what, again, looking what around. In the house is this because it almost the way that they like have that camera set for those wide angles. It almost looks like they built that set, but like that's a, that's her actual house, and all of those are her actual awards. No, Gail said they're in the hallway. Oh, are, are they in the hallway? That's why it yes. looks like it's so like sort of so narrow, yes. narrow. But, like, you can see, like, all the photographs on the walls. Mm -hmm. You can see all the awards, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. It's just so mm -hmm. fabulous. Mariah's house is just rich, luxurious, mm -hmm. fabulous. Mm -hmm. And we cannot forget to talk about the fashions here. On Again. Uh, uh -huh. The earrings. Amazing uh, earrings. Again, that's when I'm like, who is giving her this fabulous jewelry? Yes. It's so interesting, and it works so well. That mm -hmm. dress, it was a Balmain dress. Gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Fertilized. Yes. Oh. Oh. I'm sick. I, <laughs> I can't handle it. It's gorgeous. Uh huh. Uh, they look like they're having fun together, her and Gail. Yes, yes, of course. 
cute interview again. Sort of like we're on the book promo, obviously. So it's just fun to see Mariah talking, having a good time. Right. She seems comfortable again on camera. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. And she's giving all the beauty, all the beauty. But then, okay, the thing that Mariah was sort of hinting at on Jimmy oh. Fallon yes. is, I think, our biggest news of the week, which is going to close out the show for us here. No, wait. Okay, hang on. Pause okay. that news. Okay. Because I want to go back to CBS. Okay. So we do the interview. For people who have didn't watch it in real time or, or just watching the clips on YouTube, on the actual show in the morning, so we do um, Mariah, 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 Coming up after the break, Derek Jeter's in the studio. Oh, he's in the studio there. Yes, yes. Oh, get out. He was there. What was he talking about? Uh, he is doing a an apparel line. He has a new sports apparel line yeah, that he's yeah. collaborating with. And Misty Copeland is one of the people on the on the yes, team, I guess. He's doing, like I guess, the, the female uh, or women, yes. women's version of his athletic apparel wear. Line. Exactly. Yes. So fascinating, right? So shady CBS producers bringing him on the oh same day goodness. as Mariah. Oh my goodness, that was interesting because I remember seeing a um a clip saying that he was going to be on the show. I didn't know he yes. was actually going to be there, so you know he had to watch that segment with Mariah. Yes, he had to watch it. It would have been on in the green room, right? Exactly. Yes. Mm, interesting. Juicy, juicy interesting. scandal. Um. Anyway, but Gail didn't ask him about Mariah. They talked about his kids, the apparel line, uh, what he was ever up, what he was up to. Uh, I sort of was tuned out, but I just thought funny, funny, very interesting, <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> and speaking of Misty and Gail, if you're in New York City, at there's a place called Symphony Space uh, here in New York. It's on 95th Street. Gail King and Misty Copeland are doing a sit down talk because Mariah has, I mean Mariah, Misty has stuff coming out she has a new book coming out a new book yes she's gonna sit down with gail i would gail i would i would be there i would be there i'm thinking about it i might go you definitely should go yeah Uh uh-huh it could be um good conversations friends of mariah duh mariah adjacent exactly exactly um okay but back to cbs back to the interview yes so on jimmy fallon she starts hinting that she's she talks about her shows in Toronto and New York and she's like, Oh, they might be on streaming and whatnot. So the lambs instantly go crazy. Didn't she, didn't she say like, wasn't it like more vague than that? She, yeah, because she's always vague. She was like, Oh, it might be streaming. It might, might be not. something. Might be it something. might be, we'll have to wait and see blah, blah, blah. Right. Uh huh. She, well, you know, she wasn't trying to give it away. Because, you know, Mm -hmm. PBS has the exclusive announcement. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. So we're all sitting here watching Gail and Mariah talk about the Christmas princess and looking at all the cartoons. And they point out, you know, their favorite page with little Monroe as the fairy and whatnot. And then, boom, they hit it with us. I know. So if you cannot make it to any of the four Christmas shows coming out, you can watch it on streaming. They're going to turn it into a special. Yes, a two-hour special on CBS Prime Time. Or television. Television. For the public. Yes, for everybody. And if you have Paramount Plus, you can stream it on demand or you uh-huh. can watch it live Uh huh. on December 20th. That's wild. Uh, Huge. Big. We have not had a Mariah Christmas special in years. Years. Right. It has been so long. So I'm so excited because there's so, because Mariah did mention also, I think it was on with Gal, that this is going to be a different show. It's not going to be how it was last time she was in Madison Square Garden, which basically was the Beacon show. Okay. Wasn't it Sus House? She was like, oh, you know, the last show. If you've been to my other shows, like the last show was just so much fun. I was like, yeah, I also went to the other t- 20 shows before yeah, that show. Was like, that was all the same show. Yeah, it was the same show, girl. But <laughs> this time, it sounds like it's going to be an actual different set, a different lineup, a different everything. And she said she's going to do some stuff that she hasn't done before. So, you know, my lamb brain instantly starts a clicking and twicking and working. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is what I think it's going to be. Just so you know, we I have an understanding. 
of how because it's two hours. So basically, including it is two commercials, hours. that's an hour and forty minutes. Okay, hang on. But do you think there's going to be interview chatty moments? Well, that's that's what I'm getting to here because uh, I know okay. that Mariah is not going to do more than an hour Mm-mm. of singing and performing. That's how the show, mm-hmm. the Christmas show has always been. Well, what has it been? Like an hour and 20 minutes usually? About that, yeah. Yeah, so like... But just over an hour? Just over an hour, an hour and 15 minutes, I think, from beginning to end. Uh-huh. Like there's a lot of like you know, talking moments. There's a lot of, you know, uh, changing clothes, moments, uh, kids, mm-hmm. kids dancing moments. Remember the, the, tw- the twins came out on their little mm-hmm. hovercrafts and they sing a holly jolly Christmas or whatever. So there's that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But when you calculate the amount of time that Mariah is actually on stage singing, it's like 54 minutes. Mm-hmm. So now we got, that's 50- very precise. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, we got 54 minutes of Mariah singing. So let's just say an hour. We have 40 more okay. minutes to fill, okay? So what is she going to do with that other 40 minutes? And this is what uh-huh. I'm thinking because our good old friend of Mariah, Jennifer Hudson, was on her talk show recently yes. talking about her and Mariah. She was like, oh, I just got off the phone with Mariah. We're talking uh-huh. about doing something for Christmas. So I yes. think Mariah is going to bring on special guests. Mm-hmm. Like, could you imagine Mariah, Jennifer, and Ariana Grande doing an Oh Santa for the That'd for the people at home on the CBS? Cute. They'll gag. Because the people at home on CBS are not the same people who are at home with the Apple TV Plus. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yes. New Grandma crowd. and Grandpa don't know. They couldn't but figure that they, out. When they see, when they're over there December 20th watching uh, Mariah Christmas special with their grandchildren, oh, mm-hmm. the whole family. Mm-hmm. Going to love it because everyone mm-hmm. knows Mariah, Jennifer, or Ariana. Exactly. Generational. It is generational. <laughs> A generational very, moment. I'm getting very like, girl, <laughs> see how this works. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it would be great if they came out and did like a live moment there at Madison Square Garden. But and big for them too. Big, hello, big. huge. Mm-hmm. And then I think there will also be pre-recorded moments mm-hmm. and pre-recorded segments at home in Aspen. At, exactly, Mariah with the kids for Christmas. Mariah, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. all that. Maybe you know more interview moments of Mariah. It'll very. It will. You know what it's going to be. It's going to be around the world. Mm-hmm. It's going to be snippets. And and you know what I mean? It's going to be snippets of songs, a little mm-hmm. behind the scenes, a little interview, a little this, a little that. I don't think it's going to be the whole concert from beginning to end. Which, when I was a kid growing up in Long Island, here's my new book. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, all of that. Mm-hmm. All, all that, that kind of stuff. Yeah. But honestly, I don't care what it is. I can't wait. And I'm ready. Same. It's going to be amazing. (laughs) Finally. And I'm really excited because I'm not going to be able to be there in person like you are. So you're going to see Mm -hmm. the show from beginning to end. And that is a moment in and of itself. Mm -hmm. But I'm glad I can watch it on television and I don't have to watch the bootleg YouTubes. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'm so happy. Yeah. Ah, Yeah. Yeah. This is is the best Christmas present ever. Well, she's redeeming herself for last year's Christmas special. Yes, exactly. And <laughs> we've been back. wanting Mariah doing a streaming service for so long and a concert. A concert you know? on streaming. Yeah. It's uh-huh. just like, you know how they're like during the nightmare era, there was mm-hmm. that other Christmas thing that was streaming on the Netflix. Oh, but that was kind of cute. I was cute for the moment. I wasn't mad at that thing. I was a little bit mad. You were mad? I was a little mad. The well, stage was it. this big. I think I liked that little stage. <laughs> <laughs> I like that she sang some of those songs. <laughs> yes, like God, yeah, like yeah. Um, God Rescue Mary Gentleman. You, that one, Hawk those Hawk the Herald. Yes, those were cute. They were cute, but that was not the production we're looking. I wanted production, and this is going to be production. Okay, well, you know how she said she's changing it up. I think I would be low key upset if she cut Hawk the Herald opening. Well, maybe she won't. I hope that's hope. See, now I hope that stays. <laughs> yes. Well, we need. I think some things need to stay, but some things need to change. Yeah. And I think she's gonna. I think she's gonna give us really what we want. She's gonna give everybody what they want. So I'm excited. Oh, okay. I got it. Because you know how she does Hawk the Herald, and then she goes into Oh Santa. 
that much does that not uh, get uh, wasn't it uh, is oh santa oh okay maybe i think is it was Hark right harold oh santa and then christmas baby please come home yes something yes. like that she can do hark the herald because that's high drama for an opening oh. song oh the drama is everywhere oh the lighting. we need that oh, as oh, the, yeah uh, the whole the, the curtain uh, going up the reveal uh, yeah. uh, everything drama we need yes. that we need uh-huh. that mm-hmm. go into sleigh bells because we're going to do oh santa later as, as a a moment with ariana and jennifer oh you see so we've got to switch out that sequencing yeah well now i'm now i'm excited to see what she how she's going to do this because <laughs> you know you need the ups and downs you need the drama you need the ballads you need the bops yes you need uh-huh. dancing yes oh this is going to be fabulous i know i really it's gonna cannot be good wait i really cannot wait same. I'm she's excited for Christmas. She's going to look gorgeous. She's going to look phenomenal with this mm-hmm. team mm-hmm. and the money. I mean, there's going to be budget. There's a budget. Budget. Somebody budget. has a budget. Exactly. The Paramount Plus budget, the Madison Square. Bu- We're paying for the Madison Square <laughs> so she can pay for this, for all of this. Yes. Yes. It's true. It's true. But listen, it's going to be worth it and it's going to be a festive festive season <laughs> that was something i was thinking when the special was announced i was like wait so i'm in the audience i'm paying to be on the tv audience so isn't it the other way around <laughs> it's supposed to be right. a free audience for the tv production <laughs> right right but again that's why i think they're not going to do the whole show like from beginning to end it's going to be mm-hmm. it's going to be really cut up into different it's going to be around the world yeah well see i'm curious if they're going to film Toronto, Toronto, New York, all four shows and cut up all the four shows. That's what I was thinking as well. Or and is it just Mariah at Madison Square Garden? Toronto is just the warm up, work out the kinks. Yeah, I think that's what it's going to be. Because I think it's going to be that. I, I think they're filming both of the Madison Square Garden shows just so they have mm-hmm. more footage to use. Mm-hmm. Um, you have to. Yeah, but I think, yeah, Toronto's the warm up just to make sure that everything. But they're probably going to film Toronto as well, just to see, you know, the rehearsal of it all. Maybe, Maybe yeah. Who knows? I don't know. See, now I'm like, okay, do I sneak a look at the Toronto's moments, or should I be surprised on the day? See, well, if you don't sneak a look at Toronto's moments, you're gonna be spoiled on social media, one way or another. On Tuesday, it's I know. Happen. It's true. Yeah. There's no no avoiding it, right? There's no vo- avoiding it. You'd have to, like, literally lose your electricity for, like, five days. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's the only way you could do it. <laughs> but either way. Anyway, that's huge news. Super exciting stuff. Yep. I feel like we can trust her after the last Christmas debacle. <laughs> yes. Yes, definitely. And if she's working with good partners, good people. Yes. Um, it's going to be great. I think she's really going to put on a great show. Apparently, Joseph Kahn is directing it. I'm okay with that. Well, he's got to redeem himself. Yeah. Well, he will. He will. Yeah. That's that's all we can. That's all we can say. You better not fuck this Listen, one up. Listen, I'm ready. I'm ready. Whatever it is, Same. give it to me. Give it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. want choirs. I want strings. I want orchestras. Somebody got the whole circus. The whole circus. Hello. Come on now. So the countdown is on. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. Yeah. Okay. I think that's it for this episode. It's a little bit long, but, you know, a lot to pack in there today. So we're going to stay tuned for more Mariah action. Come back next week so we can catch up. In the meantime, don't forget to support the show by joining our Patreon page. The link is in the description. You get more content over there. It helps us over here. And we'll see you guys next week. Yes, thank you. Bye. Bye. The Mariah Report is produced and edited by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Hosted by Dan Enriquez and Martin Burgess. Graphics created by Sean Mark. Theme music created by e Beat. Thank you to the listeners who support the show on Patreon. If you'd like to show your support or for more information, visit the show notes in your podcast app.